I want to start this video off by saying thank you to Chuck Ballinger for picking up its shitty in the city t-shirt on Teespring. Really appreciate you, Chuck. And speaking of awesome dudes named Chuck, my good buddy, also a realtor from California named Chuck, is on his way to Overland Expo West. And he brought his really cool Range Rover by, and uh, we're going to check it out. This is going to be kind of a different style of video than we normally do, but we're going to do kind of like an off-the-cuff, minimal editing, Terra Crew style walk around of this really awesome Overland vehicle. So what year is this, Chuck? This is a 1993 Range Rover Classic long wheelbase uh, yeah. with the uh, 4.2. I went ahead and went with a Terra Firma two and a half inch lift uh, with the uh, medium springs on essentially 32 inch tires. I bought the truck on offer up, <clears throat> original owner, completely bone stock, runs great. This is definitely not my daily. And so that's why I have it set up the way it is. It should be though. Uh, yeah, I dig it. <laughs> uh, I had this bed platform before I got the rooftop tent, so I can just crawl in the back. If I pull over, you know, in between destinations, I get tired, I could just jump in the back. And I actually used to use this when we'd camp and everything else. Um, so what I did with this little table and this one burner is if I pulled over somewhere, I wanted to make a quick cup of coffee, um, just boil water or just a quick meal, that's what I use this for. This way I don't have to drag out all the camp gear and, and everything else. Um, so just coffee, just this one burner, this Amazon. This is genius, because I have the same exact single burner, but I never thought of mounting it in a countertop like that. And that's yeah. super rad. And it was super easy. I just pulled it off the original housing that it came in and cut a hole, put it in there. So I got my cutting board and then it folds up. Don't even have to take the bottle off of it. No, and that that's it. Is that's a genius, genius play with the single burner. And then just light it up. This is a little shield if it gets windy, so it just blocks the wind and I can continue cooking. You need that for sure. Yeah. Hang on, something's biting me. <laughs> that just gotta hurt too. Yeah, I was like trying to just ignore it, but it was getting me good. Um, so I've also, uh, I got this LP Cool off of, uh, of course, Amazon. And this thing is about four years old works flawlessly i mean i am super super happy with this i think it's a 46 quart I, I had the same fridge yeah i think it's 46 and i've got plenty i got enough food in here for at least at least a week um Not two yeah yeah and then i made my own little power source i've got uh my charger controller my solar car uh, charger controller uh mppt um i run about 100 and 20 watts on the solar panels they're fold out um, I have to figure something out to put it mounted on top of that that uh, super light go fast I uh, haven't done that yet but these ones they, they pull out and they've got a long cord so if I'm in the shade they can be in the Sun and then I got all my USBs uh, plugs my inverter since we're looking at that I just picked up that super light uh, 80 pounds um, super easy setup it sets up in I don't know two three minutes if that um, you just push it up, set the poles in place, you're ready to go. So plenty of room, and again, it's only 80 pounds. I used to have a roof rack up there, spare tire, a toolbox. I took all that stuff off, no more body roll, um, even improved the gas mileage. So I'm super, super happy. And then off here, again, Amazon, um, it's an Araby knockoff. That thing's about four or five years old, about as, as long as I've had the truck. And, uh... Look how much shade that thing's putting out. Yeah, no, I'm super happy. That's a bit, it's, it's, I guess it's eight by eight. So. Check out the shadow on the ground. That's a yeah, lot of shade. Got a lot of, you got a lot of shade there. So, pretty happy with that. Actually, I'm real happy. My Amazon knockoff trasheroo. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing's just, that thing's just been <clears throat> hanging out there since, since I bought it. That's about four years old. And I just put these loops here and these carabiners. So I just shut the door and it just hangs out there. Um, you know, when the truck's parked, I just fold it up. It sits up on top of that bed platform, stays there. That is a really smart way to mount a trash roo because he doesn't have a spare tire. Right. I had a similar issue, but I used a like handicap accessible bathroom handrail things. But this, I like this. 
Yeah, dude, it's just, it's using what you have. I mean, simple things like you have, like this here, just great. Some of the, like my Stanley coffee percolator doesn't fit here perfectly because these are, you know, far apart. Just throw that on there and you're good to go. Just store that. That's it, magnets. Magnets are your friend. Yep. Not trying to overthink it, not trying to overspend. What about that? that fan uh, light combo so this thing's dope that so is this, pretty dope this will go up again amazon this goes up into the tent at night and sure enough it's got a fan and uh fan and the light fans on lights are on then they got even a red mode keep the bugs away yep that's awesome yeah so i'm pretty stoked if we can find that on amazon i'll put that in the description because i feel like a lot of people with rooftop tents or even people without could really benefit yeah. from that i dig this thing man a little solar panel on it oh yeah and it's rechargeable you can also charge your phone from this um that thing does it all that thing is yeah and it hangs up or cool. you can you know set it up or you can just hang it like i have it there so when i get to camp this will go up with me into the uh up into the tent. What about this corrugated tube you got here? That's my water fill. I have an eight gallon um, food grade water tank. You can see it right over here. So this tank oh, here. Oh, got a diesel heater too. Oh, oh, yeah. So this, you know, again, Amazon, um, 150 bucks. Those things are game changing. Yeah, so I just hang this off the side right here with some bungee cords and it sits right here and then I run the hose up into the tent. It's my toilet. Nice, nice, gotta yeah. have one. And so this is the this is the water tank, eight gallons. And then my hose towards, you know. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and I, and I use, I use that specifically for drinking water, shower, uh, if I need to, you know, boil water, make coffee. Um, it goes through this filter. I got one of those too. Yeah. You got all the good stuff. So man. these things are, they, these things, they come in clutch, man. So, um, yeah, I got a little privacy tent that I'll pop up and then throw this in there because there's nothing better than to take care of business on a toilet. I'm a big guy. Squatting just doesn't work. <laughs> Huge debate about the bathroom situation, and I'm 100% with Chuck. It's just easier to just bag it and throw it away when possible instead of dealing with a composting toilet with wood chips and dealing with that whole song and dance. Some people use peat grass. Some people just go wherever and just leave campsites just a wreck. It's the worst. The worst. This is by far the best method. A bucket, a bag situation, and just throw it away when it's convenient. I'm a, I'm an advocate of this method. Everything's pretty accessible, but when traveling like this, and I'm gonna be on the road probably 10 days, you, you have to have a lot of stuff. So this is my winter jacket. That stays in all the time. Um, my tool bag here. This is the GoPro bag and uh, so my bed. But the cool thing is, is I can still pull in here, climb in, and if I have to, like I said, if I'm traveling at night, I want to pull into a rest area, truck stop, or just I don't want anybody to know, I could just jump in there without having to pop the tent. Wait a minute. What, these what are, is this? Amazon. This is genius. So they sell these on Amazon, and I was trying to figure out how do I store these. You know, I had them on Velcro to this window just to have them, you know, for storage. But... I, I just now just slide it into the pocket behind you know my umbrella and my towel um, and these things are really cool so that's it that thing is and they adjust I, I've never seen one like that yeah so you know it's easier when the the windows down a little bit but um, you just tighten up the window so I'll let it sit in here and then I'll go ahead and close the window on it like I had it but yeah, and then it's completely sealed off. Keep the bugs out. Absolutely, these things came in clutch. That and the fan, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm super hyped up on. Yeah, now that little fan's pretty dope. Um, and then here, oh, of course, shit. command center. He's showing us his cockpit, guys. <laughs> yeah, so these are all my, these are all the lights, all the exterior lights. Uh, I've got my phone, I've got my tablet for all the maps. Um, more USB chargers in there. This I just made yesterday. I got tired of my arm being on here. I made this before I headed out on the road. So I just got a piece of sheet metal. 
This was on Amazon, and it's I, this is you can pull this off and take it out, put it on and take it off as much as you want. It's got like the sticky substance, the material, whatever it is, but it just slides oh, yeah. in. It's my armrest. You've been driving a lot. You just put down 500 miles to get here, so I bet it's nice to give the elbow a place to chill. Huh? That's it, dude. That came in so clutch because if not, your arms on that hard plastic, your elbow, and it starts to hurt. So, um, I have, yeah, I've, I've got the um, GRMS radio in there. Um, I also have an old CB in there, but no one seems to use CB. Yeah, I don't use my CB anymore either. Yeah, so I turn mine into a flagpole. I think I'm gonna take. Well, I'll show you what happened to mine. So on the front. Um, the high lift jack, yes, I have used it and it did come in handy when I uh, seized my front bearing on a trip to New Mexico. That thing came in handy. It's all I had. Well, he can actually use it because he has real, real uh, metal bumpers like that. I actually made that bumper. Damn, that's um, pretty cool. Yeah, I, I made the bumper because I couldn't find, without spending a thousand bucks for, let's just say, an ARB bumper for Range Rover Classic or the uh, Defender. So I ended up making this bumper and then welding on this winch plate. Um, and tried and true, I was down in San Felipe and I pulled out a Tundra and a Tacoma that were both stuck in the sand. And I, I don't know if it was just dumb luck that I was able to scoot right through it. Um, and they got stuck, but very, very capable truck. These are actual rated points right here. So I can hook to, if someone's got to pull me out, it's not going to rip out of the bumper or tear the bumper off. Um, this X-Bull winch, 13,000 pound. It's from an Australian company, but like everything else, the inners are from China, but it's assembled in Australia. Everything I gotta in. say, the front view of this thing is probably my favorite. It looks the meanest from the front. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. The previous owner, he did something, the paint was peeling, so he tried to sand it and he did whatever. It just looked really funky. Um, so I just went ahead and got the uh, rattle can bed liner. Looks like there's a little bit of carnage of soda right here. This so I was headed down here and I'm cruising and I'm about 10 miles. That happened coming here? That happened coming here, I'm about 10 miles out. I just mounted this because this used to be right up here. So I just mounted this and about 10 miles of being on the highway, I see this thing just whip down and I hear a, <laughs> woo, 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 a vibrating and it was rubbing up against the tire and as I pulled over, it got sucked underneath and tore off. Aww. You know what though, I, I don't use it, but that's why I want to go to a short fire stick like what you have on the Jeep. And uh, this way you won't have a bunch of play. And so you moved it there because you thought it'd be safer, and then it got it got broken off on the way here. Yeah, this this came loose and it spun and oh, it snapped man. off. If you don't use your CB, I actually think you should just leave it like that because it looks kind of cool. Right. Man. I'm not worried about scratching it. Um, you know, yeah. I got the pinstripes, and again, you know, people are saying, "Man, you got to paint this." No way. Um, I'm just gonna leave it. And again, these things are going up in crazy value. So I was thinking, well, should I tear everything off and do another build, restore this? And I'm like, no, that's what this is for. You know, and I think it adds character. This is my Overland Bound uh, ID badge. I'm a member, 11964 of Overland Bound. Great, great community. I learned a lot of stuff on their, on their website and, and their channel. It's real, it's real. It's yeah, <laughs> and that adds about 10 horsepower. Oh, yeah. So, and then these, again, these are offer up. They're like contractor type. Oh, uh, yeah, those are some ladder racks. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. Super stout, no vibration. Um, yeah, and, and it held that, that heavier roof rack that I had. Um, but I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. You know, like I said, no vibration. And that's what I love about when I switched that out to that tent. Chuck, thanks for showing us your rig. This thing is pretty awesome. I actually used to have a, a Land Rover Disco 2 about, I don't know, like 12 years ago or something, and it was a great vehicle. So I got much respect for these, uh, these Land Rovers and Range Rovers. And uh, yeah, have fun at Expo West. If you want to follow Chuck on Instagram, you can find him at Chingon Grandpa Adventures. Hey man, I just want to thank you and Lexi for inviting me onto the house. I was up to watch uh, the sun come up over the mountains and uh, that was set the tone for the day. So I'm pretty stoked. Thank you guys so much for the hospitality. You got it, man. Oh, dinner? That pot roast was fire, by the way.
Lexi made a mean pot roast. Like I said, Chuck is a realtor in California, and if you need a realtor, I highly recommend him. I used to do the drone and uh, some of the photography for some of his homes back in the day, and uh, yeah. With that, thank you so much for watching. Something a little different. This Sunday, we're going to talk about van life safety. Yeah. Yeah. See you guys then. Peace.